What's up guys? We get zero views here. My name is Talos and join me in this video is Bash and Bella over there on the floor sleeping of course. But yes guys, in the previous episode we definitely finished off the, well, I don't know if you definitely finished off, but we definitely got through most of the critical moments that was in the uh, five years present or in the past timeline. But uh, that was happen that that's pretty much what happened in the, uh, that's pretty much what happened. Let me look at that. I'm like all over the place. So in the previous episode, we pretty much did, I'll, maybe not pretty much, but we might go back to it. Uh, five years ago timeline. Now, do we go through all of it? Potentially, but at least a big bulk of it. And the reason why Saffron is the way Saffron is, besides his majestic hair. But nevertheless, guys, we are back with some more. Final Fantasy 7 and look at that boy Cloud here looking very much ready to kill somebody and um, hopefully that is not me and trying to figure out the controls again because it's, it's, it's been like a, a, about, a, about a week since I played this game and um, Sorry, you can see that boy. did I wake you? you? You can always wake me. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Where? Follow me. Okay. I move. Wait, you move. I move. Is that? <laughs> My God, he's everywhere. Every episode, he's here. Every episode. <laughs> What? What? So is this the, like an alternate timeline where... Oh, I was like, what is that noise happening? <laughs> someone, someone jamming out with that jazz music. Groovy, baby. All right. And, and now it's all quiet. That's ominous. What was that all about? <laughs> So confused. So confused. Do we have to go back upstairs? It looks like it has an up arrow there. So maybe it's actually upstairs. Who's who's jamming out right now? Is that you, Red Thirteen? Doors locked. Who the hell is? Who, who's playing that majestic music? I wish I could run. I mean, that'd be kind of nice. I mean, it's beautiful. Actually, let's let's kind of go around a little bit because uh. I, I don't like to rush through my gameplay. As you guys know, I, I spent like multiple years playing Pokemon Scarlet and technically Violet. But um, I'm pretty sure I'll be doing the same thing with this game. But uh, I've got to enjoy the, the scenic view here. With the beautiful Tifa. Do you think Midgar's over there? With all that smoke? Maybe. Anyway. There's something I need to ask you too. Are you dead? Or are you alive? Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? I didn't say that. Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. I mean, tell me, what happened? Here, look. The scar? My scar, that proof enough? 
After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. Damn. I'm here now because they were there for me then. Damn. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years. Mm, that hurts, the burns. You know I can't tell you that. Why not? Be honest. Of course you can't. Because it's classified? Sorry, I just need some space. Oh man, that, that, that burns. It hurts my soul. It hurts my soul. Damn you, Cloud. Damn you and your confidential information. And I wish I could run, damn it. I'm very emotional right now. It's a big ass sword, it's wide. It's so heavy. At least someone's having fun though. You keep rock keep keep on rocking, man. Keep on rocking. I thought we could just pick up where we left off. Like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Oh man. Guess so. Damn, you you gonna just admit it? I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. Oh, man. This hurts my soul. This hurts my soul. What about the entire first game? Did it not, did it not mean anything to you? Tifa, answer the door. That's silly. My God, shut up, dude. Okay, you're, you're annoying me now. Not everyone's having fun. You two fight. No. You heard everything? We have enough problems as it is. Copy? Pace. Night. Are you in a shower, bro? Tomorrow is another day. Wise words. Wise words. I'm going. I'm going to name my next. I'm going. To, I'm going to name your son Bash Red Thirteen, or better yet, Red Fourteen. All right, we're, we're finally in chapter two. It only took like what seven, eight parts. Anything to interact here? I don't believe so. Okay. I feel like my chair is higher. Somebody raise my chair. What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Is that like a, a card game? Yeah, that's the card game that everyone was playing. I don't know if I'll dabble into it too much, but maybe I'll play a few games here and there. But definitely not my main prerogative. Uh, we're challenging it around. Should you win, you often give new cards out to collection. Defeat players will give you the opportunity to play, fight other enemies and opponents and whatnot. Okay. I mean, I, I learn how to play. Sure, let's give it a shot. Queen's blood, fight! All right, each player takes turns placing the cards on the board in one of the three lanes. That uh, spans across left to right. First try placing the cards on one of the highlighted tiles adorned with the emerald pawn. The emerald pawn, any card? You. Oh, I see. So maybe it attacks in those corners. Opponent's turn. 
Once the car is placed, its power is added to your lane total. New positions will also be added to your board, which, which tiles with emerald uh, pawns upon pawns upon <laughs> which you can place cards. The yellow number in the top right number is the card. It is powered with the well, the position card will add to the board under by the yellow squares in the graphic at the bottom. Okay. All right. Your turn. Next, place a card so that um, that one of this yellow overlaps the one with the existing position. Okay. Does that have to be a stronger one, maybe? How do I pick a different card? Oh, I can't pick another card! I think I messed up. When one of the card's um, position tiles overlaps with the position control, the position rises in rank, as there are two pawns on that tile now. Oh yeah, I noticed that. Uh, that, that, that position is rank 2. Cards can only be placed on positions equal to or higher than their rank. Which is annotated. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense, I think. I think. Maybe. I don't know. Does it mean I can't position... Your turn. Okay, I'm on level 3 now. So you now have rank 2 position. Try placing your rank 2 card on it. Okay, rank 2. Oh, has to be a rank three or higher, right? When one of your cards over overlaps with the one of your opponents, you claim the position is yours. Note, however, that claiming the position will not raise his rank. Okay. How do you win, though? You can keep track of who is winning a lane by looking at the points total on the each side of the board. The number, uh, okay, represents the power. Well, one is, is okay. You may notice that I think some cards have tiles with red borders. These are tiles that are affected by cards' abilities. Place cards effectively to make most of your opponents mass more power and more lanes of your opponent. In the event you cannot place a card, you get passed with triangle. When both cards pass, the game will end. Okay. Okay, right now I have five. Oh, he has five. Ooh, gotta be careful with that. So he's winning that round for sure. Three. Music group here. So the guy playing the jazz music, he's he's here somehow. I'm just gonna win this round. So I got two rounds here, one, so I should be good. Seven, goddamn. We definitely won that round for sure. Five. Ooh, he's tied it. Damn you. What's up? This, this might end up a draw. Oh, no. I don't think I can do anything. All right, I got five, so I think, I think it's a draw. Once the game is over, each player's score is uh, tabulated. Um, only the player with the higher power in the lane has, has their powers added to the score. In other words, no matter how high your power is in the lane may be, if it's less than your opponent's power in the same lane, it will not count towards your score. After calculating the winner of each lane, 
and adding their sc lane scores up, the player with the higher total score wins. No, you beat me! No! That was actually kind of fun. <laughs> I'm gonna play one more round, but I'll, I'll probably just kind of like, like uh, time lapse this, because I, I wanna, I wanna win. I wanna. Think I'm winning! Think I'm winning! Is that it? I don't think I can make any plays now. Let's end the match! I think I won. Give me that 7-pointer! Give me that 6-pointer! And give me that 5-pointer! Yes! Domination, baby! Then I'm gonna... It was a tutorial battle so you're supposed to win but I, was, I still don't fully understand the game but I think I grasp it but uh, yeah I'll, I'll see how it is with other other companions or other battles but it's funny though I, I should be concerned about like you know hurting Tifa's feelings but I end up playing a card game it's like who does that who does that? Ooh, a chess. I want that chess in my life. It's only an ether, though. Okay, anything else of value? I don't think so. Let's let's bamboozle. Can I run finally? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the second... Good morning, plate. sir. Uh, I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. Okay, why, why are you so sweaty, bro? The owner of this inn. Must be hot. companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice? <clears throat> all right. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, <laughs> Cloud, do you have any folios on you? The hell is that? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you the hell is that? See them. What was that? The first customization is always free. Also, where was that TV coming from? Of course, this is only the most recent oh, in a radio. series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which... Is, is, is that the same reporter from the intro? After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group mm. known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wu Tai and has begun investigations into the matter. Yeah, so that's the same report from the, the newscaster. Good to know. All right. Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? You gonna join me? You've been waiting for me? He's a good boy. That's what he is. My bash. Look, it's your brother. Without it's your, your brother. Help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Yes. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? 
party level. Oh, uh, okay. If you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Yeah, sure. It's got a backbone. Alright, overcoming challenges, helping people in need and exploring the world will deepen your players' bonds, thus, thereby increasing your party level. The higher this level, the more skills and abilities will be available in your folio. So, folio is. party? <laughs> Let me see something. Can, can I check out stats? I want to check out my pate. 56, so surprisingly stronger than me. Like, what the geez? What is he eating? My magic is better. His, his defense is better. Magic defense is the same. His strength is the same. I have more magic, obviously. He has more vitality. Um, okay. I'm, look, I'm not looking at anyone else right now. I'm just looking at my red 13. Okay. All right, we definitely need to do something amazing with our with our inventory. All right. Well, since we're here, let's do some quick exploration because it is almost the time to conclude. Almost. Oh, look, the dancing! This is so cool. See, th this is this is what makes the game so like open world and g g you know gets you in the uh, the immersion. Is just random NPCs just dancing in the streets, and this guy with the flower, so he has like a little story to tell. Oh, he's getting stood up! Ooh, he's getting stood up! Hey, that's Tifa. You want to talk to me now? Uh, morning. Oh, morning. That's, that, that was a dry morning. Off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Oh, damn. Uh, uh, th th this one. Yeah. The place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? Ooh! Favorites. Uh, but don't, don't tell me. Okay. I, I looked at with that answer. Yeah. Clouds actually affects the relationship with his allies. Damn it! I don't want to. There's too much pressure. There's too much pressure. Uh, press L1 to view your comments, feelings towards Cloud, as in by those emotions. Oh no! Oh no! This is gonna be rough. How do I look at it? L1. I'm looking at L1. Oh wait. Looks like it's not that much. It's like, like, just okay relationship. Oh man! Where's everyone else at? How big is this town? Actually, decently big. Decently big. I wonder if it expands out that way. God, we get so lost. I'm already lost. Can I climb this? No, I cannot. Hey, he's right 13. What's up, buddy? I take it our equipment is in order. What are you doing here anyway? Standing watch. <laughs> Standing or jumping? Too careful with Shinra. Good boy! Good boy. Someone has to be. Next time, it will be you. <laughs> I love Red 13. I was so happy seeing him in, in, in the first game, but we didn't get a chance to actually use him in combat. Um, I know someone actually modded it before, so you can actually use him, but it was like, it was very glitchy, obviously. But uh, I'm glad we can use him now. I don't see anyone else of value. Then again, I don't really explore much. Maybe they're inside somewhere? Okay, 
Okay, I can go there. Can I go here? Okay. What's his? Where's where's Barrett at? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm so lost. Item shop, what's up? Talk to me. Hello and welcome to my humble shop. Your humble adore. All right. Healing fire. Which one do I have? Two thousand. That's. I should probably buy weapons versus uh, items for now. Look at my cards. They have booster packs. Why are you gonna put booster packs? In freaking Final Fantasy, I already I'm already obsessed with booster cards, as you can see from my background. Look at look at my collection of Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon cards. I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need this well. <laughs> God damn it! Oh man. Um. Ooh, steel. No one has steel. That seems that seems useful. Um. Yeah, I want to buy steel. I kind of feel like you'll, you'll eventually pick these items up, you know what I mean? So it's like almost like pointless to get it. But the only reason why to get it is to increase the level for it. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to save the money. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty poor right now. Hope to see you again soon. I don't even buy anything. Is that a Moogle? The Moogle looks like it's injured. My god, so much people! Oh, Aerith! There you are. What are you doing? Uh -huh. here? Finally decided to get up. Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. Why? You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? If I have to. <laughs> if I have to. You got a real way with words. <laughs> You're lucky I speak your language, mister. Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? It's like not really a yes, but it's not really a no either. Okay, I have to go to, to this bookstore. What's up? Hey there. Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Indeed. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Spend skill points uh, to augment your party's folio. It unlock the power of your allies. Uh, unlocking, yeah, uh, sure, the tutorial. Select folio, yeah. Orange skill course kind of a lot by spending skills. Oh, okay. So it's like a it's like a, it's like a, it's like a skill tree. Why why call it like, like something like weird like folio? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so okay, so that's I like that. I like that a lot. Can I lock that skill? I have to hold it. Okay. Master the firework of blade. All right, cool. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. I think I, I, I definitely will see. And why did you shift like a few inches to the left? <laughs> Freaking me out. That's not the item that I want to get, though. Oh, that's with the partners. Okay. What is this? Can I zoom out? I cannot zoom out. Powerful Punisher. That's probably what Tifa, I bet you. That's cool. I like that. Electric Impulse. Alicia, large, magical. Please overcharge.
Do we have this? Oh, no, I don't. Okay. So red 13, United refocus. Temporary three charge ATB gauge. defend you while you move about the field. That's a kind of cool. Oh, definitely that one. Going more def going more offensive than defensive. Limit level increase. Okay. No, I think that's it. That's cool. I like that. So I can only do that in this area. I, I can't. I can't do it in my main menu. That's kind of kind of weird. But anyway, I think this is a pretty good stopping point, only because there's like so much to do. I'm like overwhelmed right now, and like I'm excited but also overwhelmed. But hope you guys enjoy that. We have a lot more to explore. Um, and also, I think we, apparently we're meeting up with Aerith on the, the clock tower. Um, I'm not sure why, but I guess we'll figure it out. But thank you guys so much for the view. Love you guys. My name is Talos. This is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Now it's definitely. We'll see you there. Peace.